Hello everyone, Frozen Call is here, and welcome back to another episode of Tag Force 4. In the last episode, we finished up Kalen's story as a, a as his enforcer, I guess, enforcer costume. In this episode, oh, I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler there. This week, we're finally gonna start on the bad guys of 5Ds, the Dark Signers. Now, this was all in the first season. They were like five people who were marked with like the uh, glyphs from the Nazca lines in South America and well Carly's one of them unfortunately I think I mentioned it before way back when I f did her story that she got killed in 5D's and she ends up becoming a dark signer being uh, getting the mark of the hummingbird I think I think it's the hummingbird yeah yeah it's the hummingbird uh, so yeah that's gonna be pretty interesting because compared to the other dark signers who essentially kind of just disappear, even Misty, like we never see them again. Carly seems to be the only one that we see a lot often because she's, you know, always with Jack. And also the interesting thing is she ends up keeping her her upgraded deck. Remember when I said that like she ends up getting like the fortune ladies? Yeah, she's the only, I think she's like the only one that actually gets, actually manages to keep the upgrade. Uh, oh boy. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> um, she only, she's the only one that ends up getting like the upgrade from being a dark signer. So instead of using her fortune fairies, she actually, she starts using her fortune ladies, which are way better, uh, in my opinion, uh, compared to the fortune ladies, because you don't have to. The fortune ladies are way better than the fortune fairies. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. And also, we're gonna be being. You know, essentially playing the bad guy in these stories. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. The interesting thing is, another interesting thing about Carly is, as a Dark Signer, she almost beat Jack. I mean, she was pretty damn close. It got, like, so close that she almost made him hallucinate the fact that they would rule the world together and shit. Oh, yeah, it was insane. Yeah, it was pretty insane. Why isn't... Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Um, I normally don't do this, but I think I have to in this case. I gotta give him... Uh, nope, that's not the right thing. Uh, what else does he... Okay, he likes... I don't know what I gave him. <laughs> I forgot what I gave him. God damn it. Okay, that looks a lot better. Uh, card holder? Ugh. So he hates card holders. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Boy. Eh, never mind. Okay, screw this. Screw him. I'm just gonna talk to someone else. Uh, usually I... Uh... I can't talk to any of the signers with Carly, because the way she is. Oh. Okay, uh... Okay, hopefully this <laughs> this will help. I don't know. Oh boy. I should have did this before I started the episode, but I was just like, nah, it shouldn't take me that long. There we go. Okay. I wasted two decent items on that guy on Trudge, but that's fine. Uh. Oh no, I messed up. Damn it! Well, at least, it's, at least it was good, not like terrible. Uh, here we go. Almost there. I'm assuming it's an effect monster. Nope, that's not enough. That's terra firma. Uh, insect soldier. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna go for that one. Nope, that's not the right one either. That's right, with greed. There we go. All right, finally we can start the first story event. Okay. Also, the interesting thing about most of the bad guys in this game, and both in Tag Force Five as well, they all come out at night. I don't know why they decided to make that come out at night, but it's really hard sometimes when you're trying to look for them and you don't have blister or whatever. It gets really annoying. Chorus, wake up! I've been searching everywhere for you. You wish to know why I came all this way here so early in the morning? 
It is because I have been resurrected as a Dark Signer. Thus, as a Dark Signer, there's something I must do. And I want you to help me do it, Chorus. Oh, man. There is no one else for me to ask. I, we, shall rule this world. If you choose to follow me, I will not harm you. Let us go. Oh, great. I mean... So this... So, as she mentioned before, she was resurrected. So, you know, she died. And so basically, her goal is to, you know, take over the world. As a Dark Signer, it is my duty to defeat the Signers. And Jack Atlas... Oh. First, before we can get to him, we must remove those around him. We shall start with his friends who are not Signers. My fortune-telling deck tells me that there should be two of them right here. Oh. Oh boy. Hmm? Who are you? I am a Dark Signer. I have come to eliminate the Signers. What? Uh-oh. I'm not a signer, but you seem to know where their friends are, too. The cards guide me. It was a simple task for me to find out where you were hiding. Ha! I don't hide, and I definitely never hide from the likes of you. I was actually looking forward to seeing you more than you know. Any enemies of my friends, you say, and Jack are also friend enemies of mine. Yeah! I'll never let you defeat the signers, especially not Luna. I won't let you lay a hand on her. Heh. <laughs> Oh, that look. When I, too, was a young girl, I... I wanted to give my efforts to something or to someone. I wanted to help people. No, not only when I was a child. When I was adult as well. I enjoyed helping people who were working hard towards their goals. Such as Jack. That gave me the conviction that I needed to work harder. That was my happiness. Ugh. No, that is all just a lie. Did that truly make me happy? To be on the street as a reporter every day, never getting anywhere? Then, in the end, ah! Yes, to achieve true happiness. Uh-oh. You are not even signers, and yet you wish to interfere with the battle between we dark signers and the signers? So, before dealing with the signers, I shall accept your souls as a lovely sacrifice. Oh, God. Ha! I won't let you win that easy. You'll have to work. You'll have your work cut out for you to get through me. And I've I've sworn to protect Luna no matter what. There's no way I'm going to lose. I'm looking forward to showing you the terror of a shadow duel. Chorus, their time of reckoning has come. Oh man. Oh, this is so scary. As I said before, she gets really scary as a dark signer. She even she even goes on a duel runner and she's not even like a turbo duelist. She's just a <laughs> a reporter. So for this, for this story, I'm gonna be using uh, kind of like a sector security deck slash warrior deck. Uh, I'm mostly I'm gonna be using warriors and um, the continuous card, the A forces, which helps her and me because she has spellcasters and I have warriors. So that continuous spell card works well with both of them. But I don't know how well this is gonna work with these two. Because mostly Crow, because Crow is mostly the threat. Leo, kind of, sort of, but I'm mostly afraid of uh, Crow, just because of his really innate ability to just swarm the field with Black Wings. Leo can do it as well, but not as well as Crow can, especially with uh, Black Whirlwind. I can remember. Oh my God, he had the highest. He had the best case scenario, but he hasn't drawn us. Oh, we lucked out. He hasn't drawn a card. He didn't draw the right card. Oh, God. <laughs> now, Carly's deck is centered around summoning her Earthbound Immortal, because she's a Dark Signer. So, oh, wow. Okay, so as you see, she has Fortune Ladies. So, her, her ace card will be, I can't remember its name for the life of me. I'm going to hate myself. I know it's on the tip of my tongue. Asilopiscu, that's the name of the Earthbound Immortal. As you can see, Crow is swarming the field. <laughs> I told you. Look at look at that. That's just look at that. He can synchro summon two monsters right now. Both armed wing and Oh, he's not. Oh. Oh, I am s Oh my god. Oh my god. He should've Wow. That would have been terrible if she didn't have it. 
I guarantee you. So I'm gonna use this. Wait, is it all warrior? Oh, it's only just warrior? Oh, warrior and spell type. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna set this. Do I wanna summon assault dog? Uh, no, I'll summon search striker. Uh, just because of the warrior boost. So let's attack. Man. If she didn't have Mirror Force, we I'm pretty sure we would have been screwed. <laughs> I think we would have been screwed. Oh, man. Oh, Datatron. Okay. I don't like that. Alright. Man, that was... If she didn't, as I said before, if she didn't have Mirror Force, we would have been... I think we would have been killed. Oh, what the? Oh, Fortune Lady Earth. Okay. So. Oh, gross. Well, so much for that. Can't battle. Well, we don't have any room for play monsters at the moment. Well, Morphtronic Bind is... Oh, never mind. Oh. Yeah, that's another interesting ability of Fortune Ladies. They, depending on which one you use, they end up growing by levels. I don't know why, <laughs> honestly. That's always something that always baffled me, because uh, I never really used the Fortune Ladies that much. Even in, when I was when I was playing Tide Force 5, I've never really used them. But I guess they're good. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> uh... Alright, we're going to attack again with Assault Dog. And 2800 to the face. Hopefully this story will not be as hard. I get I get the feeling that the only problem I'm going to have is probably battling Jack, which is probably going to be at the end. Uh, here comes the Destiny draw. Oh boy. I'm a little nervous. Oh... Okay, well, so much for that. Monster Reborn. Alright. What is he planning on doing? He's probably just gonna try and attack my Assault Dog, honestly. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he's definitely gonna try and go for my Assault Dog. Which is foolish, because of the ability to swarm. I can summon two more. One. Oh no! Wait! What? I thought I had... Oh, what? Just one? Oh, uh, I guess I got that confused with the... I could've sworn I could summon two more. Maybe I'm getting that confused with another card. Oh well, that's fine. But, I think we win. Oh yeah, that's game. Unless he has, obviously, Mirror Force. Uh, that's always a thing. Man, she really loves tributing for... Oh no, another Morphtronic Bind. Okay, well that sucks. Ugh. Well, they get to live for one more turn. Is that Sirocco? Yep, that's Sirocco the Dawn. Ugh. Ooh, 37? Good lord. Uh, that sucks. Well, I can't do anything against this. Uh... Effect damage. I don't know what to do. I can't really do much. Ugh. I'm just gonna summon Rotting Captain. Activate its effect. Bring out Jute Fighter. Aw, oh, just... Just by that much. Um... Hmm. Well, I could just turn that in defense position. And attack 
Oh, he doesn't have a Morphtronic monster. Well, I could have. I was wasn't paying attention. God damn it! And there goes my monsters. Uh, he didn't have a Morphtronic monster. Why didn't I? Uh, damn it! But he had Mirror Force, so I guess it didn't matter. Man, we were winning. We could have had this done in the bag, and this motherfucker. Uh, I swear, if we lose, I'm gonna throw my controller <laughs> at something. Uh, come on. Oh, heavy storm. Okay. That's uh, fortune lady light. Ooh, okay. I see. I can see what. I can see what she's putting. I can pick up what she's putting down. Why? Oh, we're gonna lose. I'm. Mm. Well. Well, yeah, we lost. Yeah, we lost. God damn it. Very rarely does he actually use Bora, use Sirocco's effect like that. Oh, I'm so mad. I am. I am not happy. Okay, we seem to be having a lot better luck than last time. Why does she always... You know... Oh, that's why. Well... Wait... Uh, enlightenment. You cannot special summon turn that thing's turn. Uh, control opponent monster. Oh, wow! Okay, that's really cool. I did not know she had that. Wow, that's really dope. Okay, we got them back on the ropes again. Uh, wow, I did not... Wow, her deck is actually pretty good? Uh, well, here comes Mirror Force. Or Monster Reborn. Oh no, he used Monster Reborn, so it's probably Mirror Force or something. Oh no, it's Gale the Whirlwind. Unless he already had that in his hand. Of course. Well, luckily for us, that wasn't anything important. It was just swords. Really? Bullying my poor dog. What a jerk. <laughs> oh, I get another level. Uh, I'll just set this. And I guess I'll summon Assault Dog again. <laughs> Since I have three, the three of them in my hand, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to attack this. And I think that's game. I'll... Uh... Oh. I guess special summon Fortune Lady Fire from the Grave. Okay. And, yeah, that's game. All right. We did it. That first duel was so... That was so bull. We could have... We, we could have won that first duel if it wasn't for the fact that... Uh, man, she looks so intimidating. It's awesome. That, that's the reason why I really liked Carly in that first season. Just because she just... When she became a dark sign, it was just like... Oh, man. Okay. Alrighty, then. Uh, what kind of duel was that? My body! You ought to thank me. Normally, losing to me would cost you your life. Learn from this. Never think of helping the signers again. Jack and I sh shall rule this world. All those who dare defy us will be swiftly dealt with. Jack? What are you planning to do to Jack? Even if you knew, there would be nothing you could do to stop it. Just sit back and try to enjoy the spectacle. Damn. Alright. Hmm. That will be all for today. I shall visit you again when fate next tells me it is time to do so. Goodbye. Alright. Alright, so, I'm gonna look for Carly again, and I'll see you at the next event. Okay, got Carly. Uh, let's start the next... Got Carly up to her second heart. Let's start the next event. Ooh, man. Hopefully. 
hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier. <laughs> that first duel was total BS. We could have won that if I hadn't, if we, if they didn't have to use Mirror Force. All right. Wake up, Chorus. The day of destiny has finally arrived. The time has come for us to eliminate the signers. There is no time to waste. We shall start with the girl that Leo was feebly attempting to protect. Oh no, the signer named Luna. He was so anxious to keep her safe. Perhaps the most merciful course of action is to eliminate them both at once. Come. Oh, uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, these stories make me feel so bad. It's like, am I the bad guy? It reminds me of that meme I keep seeing of this like of like one of the one of those Shutterstock memes where it's like, oh, when you when you play through an RPG and you're the asshole and you play the asshole. It's just like, oh uh, no. <laughs> uh, alright. Why are we going to the back alley if we're hunting for Luna? The fate of the signers and the dark signers is intertwined. It is as I have foretold, that girl is here. Uh-oh. Ah, so finally we meet, my lovely little signer. Who, who are you? I think you know already. I am the dark signer who defeated your brother. Even though it is impossible for a non-signer to defeat a dark signer, uh, Crow might have some words with you. <laughs> he insisted upon blabbering on about how he was going to protect you. Leo, what is troubling you? Poor creature, you look so frightened. You seek revenge for your brother? It is destiny for signers and dark signers to battle. I'm ready when you are. Aw, oh, no. I won't let you get away with this. I'll fight you for Leo, too. Oh, are we gonna fight Akiza? Oh, no. Hey, what is going on back here? Luna, are you okay? Huh? Hey, didn't I see you at the hospital with Jack? Ah, the securities agent. I would be I would suggest minding your own business. It would be a pity if you were to get hurt. The battle between the signers and dark signers is destiny. Do not interfere. Are you going to fight Luna in a shadow duel? But of course, I am a dark signer. You weren't the kind of person who'd hurt a child. This isn't you. Back then you helped Jack and kept to yourself. Hmm. Jack. Wake up. The me that you once knew is now dead. I have become I have been born anew as a dark signer. All that remains for me is to carry out my fated duel with the signers. You wish to stop me? Would you be willing to duel me for it? Er uh, I sincerely doubt a little worm like you has even the guts to try. Luna, we have to try. Let's do it. Oh okay. Come, Chorus, let us prepare for battle. Oh man. So, Luna versus Trudge. I figured we were going to be fighting Akiza, honestly. Like, Luna and Akiza, two birds with one stone. But, uh... I don't know. Luna might trip up Trudge a bit, just because of how her deck is run. She, she... As I said before, she's always about stalling and... You know, making sure you don't attack her and stuff like that. So, yeah, One Heavy Storm should do the trick, right? But, you know, it's only one... It's only limited, so I can't. <laughs> I have to pray to the gods that I get that card when she starts doing her stally business. All right. And Trudge, he's you know sector security. He's all about. Uh, he has warriors, montage dragon. You know that. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, Fires of Doomsday. You know, I've noticed she hasn't used a field spell yet. Which is interesting, because that's usually the goal of the Dark Signers, is to use field spells in order to bring out the Earthbound Immortal. Ew, she had both of them in her hand. Oh, that's gross. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. What's this one? Oh, the Fire Priest. Fire Princess? Okay. She should have summoned... Oh, I guess she couldn't have. Well, that's fine. Uh, I gotta get rid of that thing, because that thing's gonna do... Oh, no! Uh, okay, no. I'll just set these two and summon my Burzak. 
my Kokai Miru. And end my turn, because I can't attack. Show them my duty fighter. Alright, Trudge, show me what you got. I'm so glad I'm listening to another <laughs> battle track besides the one I always kept hearing. Uh, nah, I won't do that. Alright. Alright, Carly. Please destroy that stupid thing. Nope. Oh, no! Damn it! Uh, that's unfortunate. She doesn't have any. She doesn't have any warrior type monsters. Now we're gonna sit there and get hit by Golden Ladybug. Uh. She has some kind of burn deck, and I do not like that. Uh, that's annoying. That is uh, that is uh, pretty pretty annoying. At least I have dark bribes. That way I can get rid of get rid of stuff. Um, nah, I'm not gonna use that yet. I can't attack. Oh, that's so infuriating. <laughs> she managed to do a thousand points. Of she's probably she's gonna manage to do another thousand points the next turn, just cause of her stupid fire princess. Alright, Carly, don't fail me now. Destroy that damn princess. Oh no, of course not, because you have Wall of Light. But we have Dark Bribe, so we can negate that. Thank God. Ugh. It's a good thing I added that card to my deck, because I knew shit like that will happen. And now we destroyed the Fire Princess. And here comes Golden Ladybug again. Two of them. So they're back to 8,000 again. What is she gonna do? Oh, nope. Bet you five bucks that's Marshmallow on down there. I just, I just have that sneaking suspicion. Ooh, Montage Dragon. Uh, I'm gonna use Warrior Returning Alive to bring this back to my hand. And I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna attack this thing. Oh no, Security Orb. Okay, well. Fine, whatever. Ugh. I figured she'd be tripping up Trudge more, but nope, that does not seem to be the case. Oh, great, she has Pursuit Chaser. Uh. What? Oh, that was Sunny Pixie. Okay. Well, I thought that was Marshmallow. Ah, there's Assault Dog. Who are you gonna synchro summon? Goyo Guardian, no doubt. Yeah, oh no, Gaia? Okay. Gaia, alright, well. Of course, Pursuit Chaser. That ability. Wait, why can't I use Dimensional Prison? I just... I... I could use Dimensional... It's a tra... I don't understand that. That's... What? Well, Carly, now it would be the perfect time to do something, please, for the love of God. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Oh, solemn judgment. Well, shit. Well, fuck me, then. Uh, I don't even... Oh, we have Mirror Force. Okay. I'm, up, I'm perfectly fine with that. I am perfectly fine with Mirror Force. Another Golden Ladybug.
Ugh, Jesus. Ew, okay, I get it. Jesus Christ, have mercy. There we go. Pop everything. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was too close for comfort. Um... You know what? I think I'm... No, I can't do that. I'm just gonna summon Burzak again. And attack. Let's do this. Uh, can I do anything? No, I cannot. Okay. Use his ability. Show him a card. Show them Judy Fighter. Man, this is gonna be a really close duel again. All right, Carly. Moment of truth. Fortune Lady Water. Sweet. Okay. Oh, solemn judgment again. You strike again. God damn it. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every goddamn time. Alright, Burzak. Oh, gate. Wow. Alright. Uh. This is so frustrating. Alright, now we're back to where we started again. Oh, good for you. Okay. Well, I'm destroying that. Uh, I'll get rid of that tour part. And I'm gonna get out Burzak. Return Burzak to the hand. Nope. I'm gonna flip summon this. And special summon Montage Dragon. Two, three. Alrighty. 2400. Okay, that's not so bad. Let's do this. God. I should have known that was going to happen. Uh, wait. Oh, uh, that's so... I thought that would work, but I guess not. I wasn't reading the stupid thing. Uh, Surge Striker. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the Fires of Doomsday. Just summon those tokens. That way. Come on, Carly. Nope. Man, this is terrible. I'm a, I think we're going to lose again. I really think we're going to lose again. Just because of fucking... This is such BS. Sunny Pixie. Oh, now you use Dimensional Prison. Get that out of here. And there goes my Doomsday Token again. Bottomless. Eh. That can only do so much. I'm just gonna attack this. It's not like they have any more mirror forces. Alright. 
Oh man, this is so asinine. I've told you before, I've said this before, but like, fighting against Luna is such a chore. Like, it really is. And you wouldn't think that. I'm just gonna remove that from play. Oh. Ugh. Perfect. Another s goddamn stall card. Yep, that goes back to the hand. Alright, now it's at 1200. So I can only do so much. What? Oh, yeah, we can't attack. Duh. I was about to say, like, wait, why can't she attack? Because <laughs> of fucking swords. Oh, man. Look at that. They're getting all their life points back. All that work I did. Just immediately gone, just because of that stupid. Just because of her deck. Her play style. I'll just keep that in my hand for now. I'll keep Marauding Captain in my hand for now. Um, Man, they're getting all their fucking life points back. It's insane. I am so beyond livid. <laughs> Alright, there, that gets destroyed again. Look at that, that's just, that's just broken as shit, man. They're literally getting their life points back. And there's nothing I could do about it. Unless I destroy their monsters or something, unless I destroy their whole back row, there's nothing I can do. And now, because of that Gravekeeper's Servant, I have to sit there and basically mill my deck just to stop, just to destroy cards, just to, to attack. It's disgusting. Wow, she set her second Ladybug? Oh, joy for me, I guess. Oh! He has like... You've got to be fucking kidding me. This is such bullshit. I have half a mind just to just sit there and just surrender right now. Uh. Oh! Now she has her... That does nothing for me. Literally nothing for me. And she removes her own card from play. What is she... Does she not realize we are, like, on fumes right now? Like, what? what is this? I don't understand this at all. Well, oh, there goes another card. Look at that. They have back to 8,000. They're back to where they started. It's... Woof. It's... It's... I... I don't know. I... I... I have no words. This is like... Long as shit. Oh, please summon Sunlit Unicorn so I can fucking remove that piece of shit from play. I dare you. Oh, no. Uh, man, I don't. Well, I'm just gonna summon Marauding Captain. Use its effect.
Special summon Big Shield Gardener. So that way I can Synchro Summon uh, Goyo Guardian. Man, I have... Oh, of course! Oh! Because that's... <clears throat> yeah, fuck it. I'm surrendering. <sighs> I'll, I'll see you when I'm in a better position to beat them. Okay, I think we should be winning this turn. Never mind. Never mind, he had gravity bind. Well, screw me then. But we are close. Hopefully. She can't touch me because of my warriors. And because of, uh... <clears throat> Goyo Guardian, but hopefully Carly will be able to use Brawniac's ability to uh Ooh. Alright, bottomless. Destroy Search Striker. Alright, so now it's just one card we have to get rid of. Alright. Alright, Brawniac. Yeah, this should be game, I think. Man, look at that, our whole field. All right, man, that was a that first duel was annoying, just because of the fact that she had two golden ladybugs in her hand. That that's probably the only reason why we were weren't able to beat her like that. But yeah, oh man. And Goyo Lariat. Oh boy. That was tough. These duels were really tough for no reason whatsoever. Oh. I might have to tweak my deck a little bit, just a little bit. Ah, uh, her power is too... Uh, oh, no. You're lucky not to have perished. Most Shadow Duels do end that way. Don't underestimate the power of securities. I suppose it was your destiny to survive this. You have been spared this time. Use what's remaining of your... Use what's remaining of your life wisely. Sorry, Leo. Sit back and gaze in awe as I... at the new world I shall create. My future, my destiny, in my future, what will I? My destiny is Jack. As a dark signer, my destiny is to defeat the signers. And then, together with Jack, we will... Oh, man. What are you gawking at? That will be all for today. When the time comes to defeat the next signer, I shall return for you. Farewell. Man, after these grueling, uh, those grueling duels, I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe already, and I'll see you guys next time.